In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble SugarPixel, uh, how to replace components, and all of that. So to start, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to remove the two screws, one on each side. These screws are tiny, so set them aside where you know you won't lose them. Once you have the two screws removed, gently slide the back cover out. You're going to see a lot of connections from the front to the back. The yellow, white, and gray wire is the LED. You can simply pull on it to disconnect it. Then you have a black and red wire coming from the button, and you can pull up on that to disconnect it. Now the front and the back are separated. If you need to remove the LED or the button, you're gonna unscrew the nut that's on the inside. If you need to, you can give it just a quick little twist with pliers, but um, it only needs to be hand tight. So if you screw it back in, you don't need pliers to tighten it up. Fully remove this. It's gonna have a lock washer and a nut We'll keep those uh, separate. And then the button just pulls right out of the top. The LED can then slide out. And the LED panel is four pieces. It's the acrylic front lens, which has the textured side to the outside. A diffuser panel, a diffuser grid, and then the LED. Now I will show you how to reassemble these now. To start, we will take the acrylic and just drop it into the front and then set the diffuser panel on it. I like to assemble the LED and the grid together. You want to look at this grid. It has raised ridges on one side but not the other. The side with the raised ridges goes against the LED. To assemble this, the wires go in the top corner, so on the button side, and just drop it in. So you can see the wires and the hole for the button. Now to reassemble the button, slide the wires through. Put the lock washer on first and then the nut. And then just push down on the button on the top to hold the button tight from rotating while you tighten this up thumb tight. I'll set that aside for a minute, minute to show you the back. The back has four screws. There's two holding in the speaker and two holding in the circuit board. If you need to replace the speaker, unplug the other red wire that goes to the speaker and just unscrew the two screws in the corner for the speaker. And then the speaker will lift right out. Uh, it doesn't matter which two corners you use, just make sure they're opposite. So I will go ahead and screw the speaker back in. And all the screws just need to really be hand tight. You don't have to over tighten these. Make sure those are all tight. If you need to replace the circuit board, there's a screw on each side of the circuit board holder. And you can just unscrew these. And the entire piece will lift off. Now the circuit board is attached with uh, some double-sided tape behind it. So 
gent you can gently start to pull this until you can get the tape to release. Don't pull too hard. Um, just work on it until it gets fully released and then you can put the new circuit board in. Now when you put the circuit board in, the board itself goes towards the top. You just slide it over the holes and screw in the two screws. Now looking at the connections again, you have the LED at the end. The first connection is for the speaker. The second connection is for the button. So I will plug in the speaker and I'm gonna show you, try to get it on this camera. One side has a little nub sticking out that is um, not flush. That goes towards the front. Just insert it and then use your fingers to push it down. Now for the LED, it also, one side has a raised bump that goes towards the top. So we're just going to slide this in and again, push it in with your fingernails and then attach the button. And the same thing, the side with the bump out goes towards you. And we're gonna push that in. Here, you can just slide the two halves back together. If it doesn't feel like it went fully together, you may have caught a wire. Just open it back up, make sure the wires aren't caught on anything. And then slide it back together and put your two screws in on the outside. And that is how to fully disassemble and reassemble SugarPixel if you need to replace any components.